now let's go to i mean as i told you like we will be discussing concept of overlapping in the next video so here i present you concept of overlapping what is it concept of overlapping let's try to understand for example if there are um whatever maybe uh, i mean 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 numbers there are in total 11 numbers and i give you the average of first four numbers n equal to 4 and the average equal to 60 or whatever the number is given and suddenly i give you uh, the average of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 last eight numbers here n equal to 8 and average equal to whatever maybe let's say it is 80 and then to 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 make this question solvable i will also have to give you the average of n equal to 11 and average of all the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 average of all the numbers is maybe let's say it is it is it is it is it is 55 and i can ask you find the fourth number in this case how will you how will you solve it i mean directly you apply this small plus small minus big when there is overlapping like this you can find the value of that overlapping overlapped number very easily by using small plus small minus big but in this question if i ask you find the third number you cannot say because there is no overlapping find the eighth number you cannot find find the sixth number you cannot find but if i ask you the overlapped number find the fourth number then you can find and you can say that the fourth number is small plus small minus big what is exactly small i'm saying small plus small minus big it means small section this is the small section it's sum you can find by applying golden rule here 4 into 60 so this is the small section its value has to be found out 4 into 60 and again small small means it is another small section here n is given here average is given so apply golden rule 8 into 80 so this is the uh, sum of the small section and big what is big big means all all i mean here n is given uh, average is given 55 so big means all the numbers so this is 11 into 55 so this is how whatever the value comes that's fine plus minus positive number negative number that's fine you have to answer this way small plus small minus big in this kind of question but i'm i'm going to explain you another uh, another situation another situation like this let's say let's assume there are some different num different scenario like this let's say there are seven numbers one two three four five six seven eight let's say there are eight numbers and i give you the 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 um, let's say the average of first five numbers so n equal to five their average is 100 the average of first five numbers is uh, 100 and i also give you another information the average of one two three four five six the average of last six numbers n equal to six and their average is let's say uh, 160 hmm. The average of first five numbers is 100 the average of last six numbers is 160 and here if you if you if you watch it very carefully there are overlap on these three numbers so what you can find in this question you can find only the sum of these three numbers because there is no single number you cannot find the value of third number you cannot find the value of fourth number you cannot find the value of fifth number rather you can find let's say a b c d e f g h so you can find only the value of c plus d plus e if they ask you c you cannot say if they ask you d you cannot say if they ask you e you cannot say but if they ask you c plus d plus e or the sum of third fourth and fifth number you can find the value of three numbers this is how the mathematics happen and in this way also small plus small minus big rule is valid 
what is small small means first small section so 5 into 100 plus small second small section 6 into 160 big means all and in this question it must be given like the average of all the numbers like eight numbers average is 120 something like that so you write 8 into 120 whatever the answer comes here is your answer and this is the sum of three numbers either you will find one number or the sum of three numbers this is how the mathematics takes place i will i will now you explain you another typical situation of this overlapping concept in the next video so stay tuned to the next video if you have not understood it clearly re-watch this video and try to download it. See you in the next video very soon.